Okay, so I want, as I said, I want to dissect one of these bars. Now there is a good picture. You see how that looks like continuous bar from here all the way down? But it's not. What you're seeing here in the side, and usually you don't see the sides of it like this because the frog is covering this area up. But to look at it like this, it looks like it's all the same and that this is bar. But what you'll find is this is sole here. And this is bar right here from here to here. So we're just going to kind of start getting some of that out. I'm going to show you here. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll get this up. A second. Okay. So we're going to tear out, take out some of this sole. See, wherever it's cracked like that, you can pretty much tell that, you see, and, and you kind of want it full of some of that sole to a degree because that's a tender, thin area under there. The sole is actually thinnest under there, the sole corium. Okay, see all of that was exfoliatable sole. Not that you'd want to exfoliate all of it. Okay, now you should not have a groove as far as I know. Okay, see how this is smooth? Well, from here up to here, you don't want to just cut a groove in here. Okay, is there a groove in the foot? Not really. It, it descends smoothly from here to here and back. So you don't want like a ditch that you're digging here. <clears throat> okay? You're going to want to take it down to where it's just smooth. Like that. Okay, that's about all you would want to take out of your collateral groove area. But we're going to go ahead and dig down a little further just to see what's there. Sometimes it does get impacted. See now, if we're go to go any further, than that right there. Okay, we would be going too deep and down into where the frog starts growing and is attached right here. So you don't want to put a deep groove in here. You just want it, it smooth. See how it's smooth there? Um, because I've seen a lot of people that are digging out big gouges right in here. Okay, we don't want to do that. Just have it be smooth. See there? Okay, now here we have our bar. Now we're starting to see where our bar truly is. And we still have a little bit of sole attached to it right about to here. See, the pigmentation on a hoof, often uh, one part of the pigmentation will blend in with another part of the pigmentation. So what we're thinking is bar, all bar here isn't. There's still a little bit of sole right here. Okay, because see, the bar ends right here, right here, okay, and it grows down this way. So let's just take out a little bit of this right here. And just, I like to have people do what I call find and define. Okay, now I haven't taken out too much, and that's all very smooth right there. You see that? Okay. Now here is a piece of bar wall we have right here. Let's take that off. Yeah, well, we might have to cut it off with something. Just a minute. Hold on. Take that little piece of wall. Now, you see how this came out? relatively easy. Okay, now when you run into bar, it don't come out as easy because it's hoof wall. 
hoof wall doesn't cut as easy. Okay, hoof wall doesn't cut as easy. Okay, so, but you see right there, now here are the bar ends, but look at that crack, that sole. Sometimes now these bars will grow up and lay over on the sole. And sometimes part of the bar will, will this will all bend and the bar will also grow across the sole, the inner part of the bar. Um, and so it can be hard to tell sometimes, but when you finally find your bars, what you're going to find is, okay, see I, I still have a crack there? Okay, we're going to cut off part of the heel back here so I can kind of get in there. All right. In fact, we'll just go ahead and trim half the foot. Now I'm just going to nip off flat, almost flat to the sole there. Okay, get down there. Yep, he was ready for a trim. I sure would rather be trimming him now than doing this. But, I think my trim was pretty good because you can see where he was wearing off his toe almost directly right in front. So I had him pretty balanced for as crooked as he was. Okay, now, <clears throat> we'll take off just a little more heel here. Yeah, that might be a little too much. <clears throat> I feel that that was a little too much heel. I would have rasped it on a live horse. Well, maybe not, maybe I got that right there. Okay. Okay, so there we have half the foot, the wall trimmed here. Now, he did have heels that kind of were collapsed forward a little bit. But I think that was straightening itself up. And it happened just like what I showed you there. Now we're going to clean out what's, this is called the seat of the corn. Now again, here's your bar area here, and it should look like this, like the wall. By the time we're done, we should have it defined enough to look just like the wall here. Okay, and right in here, where this kind of blackish line is here, that's where your white line is. That's the, where the wall and sole connect. Here is your sole. Okay, now as you can see, and right in here is what they call, this is called the buttress of the heel this triangular area here where the bar and the wall meet right in here and right in here inside of that is called the seat of the corn and this is sole in here okay so we're just going to try and get down to uh, what we know to be uh, well, live soul, I guess you could call it. Okay, see how that, right about there, I'm good. We want to trim out this area of the seed of the corn. Oh, we'll have to do that in the next video.